Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. So today I'm going to show you how to add a name pendant to a chain with a, just a regular chain from the dollar store. So what you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge wire. I'm using non-tarnished brass. I just picked up some necklaces from the dollar store. This is really cheap, $2.50 for a bunch of chains. You can also use upcycled uh, chains from bazaars and garage sales. And I have my tools. So there's different ways to do the J's. I like to do it this way where I just do more like a kind of printed J, but I end up using it for my cursive names i just like the way it looks so we're just going to go around and do the j so i'll just go ahead and bring this down here go across here and this one here and then you can just do like a little loop at the top if you want to attach your jump ring after you always need something to hang the jump ring onto so i'll just do a little loop at the top here and keep it pretty small and then I'm just going to trim the back with the cutters and then you want to pinch it in so it's quite flush so we're just going to pinch it in there so there's no rough end and then we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the name so we need the U we'll just bring this and bring it up so what I like to do is bend this to the front and then we alternate, we go front, back, front, back. So we're gonna bring this up here and then bring this to the back. It just makes sure that all the let letters stay so somewhat on the same level. And then we're gonna bring this up to do the L here. Bring this around. I'll just bring it to the, to the back again. Just, you have to kind of go with your intuition of which way to bend the the wires to the front or the back and i do have tutorials on how to do all the upper and lower case letters so i'll link those up below and then i like to do a little dot on my eye not everybody does the dots on the eyes when they're doing the the uh, wire letters but i like the way it looks so we're going to bring that there and then bring it up for the e so we're going to bring this around here try to keep your letters at the same level it's not always easy, but with practice, you'll find it gets easier. And for the E, I like to bend it on a bit of a jog there. You can just like kind of go up and down, but I like the way it looks when there's a little bit of definition on the E. So if you could just give it a little jog to the right, that would be great. And then we're going to bring this one up because we need to do the T. So we're just gonna bring that around and you wanna make this loop at the bottom a little bit wider so we're going to be able to cross our t bring it over here and then to cross the t what i do is i bend this to the back so take the wire bend it to the back here and then i'm going to bend it to the left pinch it down and then we want to bend it to the front here and cross over that line for the T and then bring it back to the middle at the back and we're going to bring it here. So there we have Juliet, looks super cute. And then I think to finish it off, I'm going to do like a little heart or something. You could put your jump ring just into there. You could put a jump ring here and the jump ring here, but I'm going to do like a little heart at the end. So we're going to bring this across here and bring this up and then what you want to do is make these loops of the heart like high enough so they're at the same level as that one so we're going to bring that up here so it's at the same level as the top of the j here and then just so the jump ring isn't going to kind of go past there i'm actually going to do like a little bit of a loop here so the jump ring will just stay to one side bring this to the front i could have i should have probably looped it to the front instead of the back but this is something we can just play around with and see so if i do it that way and bring it around to here you can kind of like soften up the, the curves a little bit too 
And then what you're going to do is I want to wind that around here so it stays nice and secure. So you could just simply wind it once to the back and clip it or you could wind it around a couple of times if you want it more secure. So whatever you feel also depends on how soft your wire is if you think it needs more reinforcement. So we're going to also pinch that end in so it's not rough. So there we have Juliet and we have uh, two areas where we could put the jump ring. This could have been a little bit taller just got pushed down a little bit but that's fine it's okay if it's like not perfectly at the same level and this too you could if you want it more lower you just like make this loop a little wider and then that's going to pull that little edge down a little bit too so there's always little adjustments that you could do at the end so there's Juliet and now the fun part so we're going to get our chain so this is just from the dollar store we're going to open it up and there's different chains that we can work with here. So just grab one that you like in there. This one looks pretty good. And we want to remove it from this original piece. So we're just going to cut the jump ring here and this chain is going to come off. And then we're going to go to the other side over here and we'll do the same thing. We can just cut it off here. And then what we can do, we can actually recoup the lobster clasp if we want. So we have the chain and we have the lobster clasp and we even have the extender chain. For your jump rings, you can just take already made jump rings or you can make your own. So if you want to make your own jump rings, just take the same wire that you made your name with. You just kind of bend it around a couple of times and you're going to cut it that way and then you want to cut it in the opposite way and if you have a jeweler's saw you know that's a better way to make jump rings because then they're going to be cut super flush but just cut it with your flush cutters you can always file the ends a little bit if you need to that's not a problem so we're just going to cut the ends and then make sure that one goes about the same spot so we've got two jump rings and now what we're going to do is attach the name. So we're going to take the jump ring, stick it in the chain here, and stick this in the J. So we'll just close it up here. Okay, and then just for now, we're going to stick it on the other side, and then we can see how long you want the chains to be. So we'll just stick it through here and add it to that side of the heart. So now we need to open up the chain because you have to figure out how long you want the chain to be and you want to make sure it's kind of even. So measure it around your neck, see where you want it to be and then just give it a little clip where you want the length to be. So we're just going to cut it there and cut it there and then the same thing you're going to need some jump rings so you can add your lobster clasp and your extender wire so we'll just add the lobster clasp to one of the jump rings here to the chain so we're going to close that up so for the other end you can add the other end of a clasp you could add a split ring you can add a closed jump ring but i'm just going to add the extender chain that we had on the previous necklace so we're just going to add that there there we have our beautiful juliet necklace with a chain and a clasp so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to join my Facebook group, The Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and unique jewelry. I also send out a monthly newsletter, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook where I give a list of my supplies and materials and a few tips. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.